We have a pandemic that has now cost about 100,000 Americans their lives uh, and profound concerns about how many more uh, will lose their lives uh, depending on the actions of federal, state, and local officials. Uh, we also have seen a devastation of our economy that has not been witnessed since the Great Depression. There is a vigorous debate going on about how soon to reopen, how quickly to reopen. If we don't get it right, we're gonna see further outbreaks of the virus, uh, a resurgence of the virus and unnecessary loss of life. I think that what is most important right now for public officials is to respond to the health needs of their constituents, uh, respond to the economic crisis that millions of American families are facing right now. And at the same time uh, to uh, inspire people about our ability to get through this. And we need to be thinking about also how we build the country back better uh, on the other side of this pandemic. We also need people to remain engaged on a whole host of other issues. The problems of the world that are not uh, uh, pandemic related haven't disappeared, they haven't gone away. There are any number of great organizations, both locally and nationally, that engage in issues that people keep care deeply about. For all of us who were watching this past holiday weekend, you know, we're seeing crowds of people go out and most of the time without uh, social distancing or in many cases without social distancing and without masks. And it points to a leadership issue around being able to hold the current crisis with the long-term view. You know, leadership in a time of crisis needs to be crystal clear. Uh, you can't be sending mixed messages uh, and confusing messages and expect that people are going to follow you because it just leaves everyone to their own device. Uh, and, and that's, I think, the last thing you want uh, during a public health crisis. I believe there are 101 women in the House of Representatives. How Congress and or the discussions in the House are being impacted by having more women's voices in the room. Across every level and every committee, we have seen the enormous contributions of a more diverse caucus that looks more like America in every way, including vis-a-vis -vis gender. There was a very interesting uh, set of news reports uh, recently about how countries run by women had a much better response to the pandemic than countries run by men. An emergency like a pandemic really calls for both strong national leadership because the virus isn't gonna stop at a state border, nonpartisan leadership because the virus doesn't discriminate between Democrats and Republicans. Ideally, you would have leadership at all those levels, leadership coordinating with each other, not competing with each other. This is not to say that the federal government should be dictating everything. It shouldn't. It should, though, because it has some of the best infectious disease experts in the world. We continue in Congress to pass bills providing more funding for testing, more funding for tracing. We have imposed a requirement that they develop a national testing and tracing strategy. The good news story, to the degree there is a good news story there, I think is the public-private partnership um, on things like treatment and vaccine. You've been very involved in housing policy and working on homelessness policies. Um, you recognize the gravity of this set of issues for both locally and nationally. You, you have the fact that this was already an epidemic that is homelessness before the pandemic. I think the most immediate demand right now is not adding to the homeless population, um, working to move the homeless population into shelter, making sure that the services that are necessary for that population follow them wherever they go. At the federal level, you know, one of the most important things we can do right now is help to fund what the states and local communities are doing. The most important thing, frankly, we got to level the country about what we're going through. We got to uh, put in place uh, a testing and tracing regimen around the country so that we can surveil where this virus goes and, uh, and know how to stop it. And we, we need to follow the advice of scientists and not try to cut corners when it comes to people's safety.